Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch a mouse in the barn with another fruit jar lid style mousetrap. There are so many different variations on lids that screw on jars designed for catching mice, but this is the first one I've seen with this style of doors. Usually they have a one-way flap door where the mouse pushes it open, then they can't get back out. Or metal spikes when they go inside, they'll get poked if they try to escape. But this is the first one I've seen with a double squeeze chute style. There's a cage and an opening right here and these two metal flaps, they're close together, but the mouse can push them open and squeeze inside to get the bait. Then they close behind and with this cage, they're gonna try to get out from the top or sides, but the mouse isn't smart enough to pull these open and come out the way it came in. I'm gonna put this on a jar and test it out with our pet mice. Then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch a wild mouse. Now in the past, I've had round jars roll away. For these tests, I like to use this square jar. That way I can set it up on a flat surface and I add seeds inside to attract the mice. We'll screw on the lid and go get our pet mouse. Okay mouse, there's some yummy seeds inside. Go through those doors. As you can see, it's very easy for the mouse to go in, but there's no way it's gonna escape. It works well with our pet mice, but let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get some wild mice. Well, last night we caught a mouse with this fruit jar mouse trap. It really wanted all that food inside. It squeezed through the doors, but then it couldn't figure out how to escape. Overall, it's a very unique mouse trap and it works well. Now, what we caught is a native species called a deer mouse. You can tell because it has larger ears and a white belly, also more of a furry tail. It's part of the natural ecosystem, so we're gonna let it go. Now, this time of year, they're coming inside when it's raining. They don't wanna be out in the fields, so they find barns or even your house. But one major problem is about 90% of the mice I've caught this time of year have a parasite called a botfly. It's on the back, it's kind of hard to see. It's a lump on this side. And basically it's a large maggot living under their skin. It's really gross. You really don't want mice bringing parasites inside your house like fleas, ticks, and botflies. But we're gonna take this lucky mouse out in the wild, far away from any buildings, and let it go. Okay, I'll just unscrew the lid here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Okay, you're free. Thanks for watching.